and then we'll get Apia. Sweet. What's up, brother? Good, what's going on? <clears throat> what's going on your mind, man? Yeah, I heard you say that uh, Africa is not making progress because of tribalism. Did you say that? Okay, uh, what, I'm gonna have you. You got to take the headphones out, but it's very hard to hear you. All right, take the headphones off. All right, come on, Apia, because I know you're trying to deliver those Postmates orders, but you got to uh, take those headphones. Now? There we go. A little bit better. Wait, yeah. I heard you say that Africa is not making progress because of tribalism. Did you say that? Um, yeah. All right. Can you mention three tribal groups in Africa? Um, yeah, the um, Ashante, Hausa, um, Yoruba, Igbo, um, the San people. Is uh, a whole bunch. All right. Of all right. Wow. Out of the three that you mentioned, the first, which one of them are fighting? I, I, whoever they ain't fighting enough. No, no, you can't sound that ignorant. I believe that you know exactly what you said. Which of them is fighting, though? I don't know. Oh, they're not fighting enough because y'all fleeing over here. Oh, flee? Fleeing from where? Fleeing. Fleeing from your homeland. To where? Listen. To here. Let, listen, listen. The fact that... Let, to here, listen, yes. Let me tell the difference between you and I. All right? Uh-huh. I am built to be able to survive anywhere. If you can't survive anywhere, don't think that it means somebody fled. It's just you're stuck. All right? You're not built like me. You can't move anywhere than to stuck up here in LA with me. All right? So don't make that comparison, sir. So you're in Los Angeles? I'm here in LA. I'm in the valley just like you're in the valley. Yeah, and you fled. I fled. No. Yeah. No, I just expanded my network. That's what I did. And no, you no, can't no, no, do that, though, bro. No, no, no. That's called flee. No, according to you? All right, so let me ask you. Do you think that the black... No, 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 no. Hold on, no, 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 no. Because you're trying to spin fleeing. Like, you expanded. No, you expanded your ass away from your Bro, homeland. let me ask you a question. Build let me, all right, fled, let me ask you a question. You fled... No, no, no. You fled over here to something that we built. All right, let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. Would you consider the black American community in Ghana as people that fled? Um, no. Why? Because they go back and forth. And it's a small group of them over there, and many of them go back and forth. They go back and forth. And also, I, I, and I, also, listen. also, listen, hold on. Also, the black community over there, they got to go bring a damn bag over there. They got to bring some damn money. Man, you're slow. They don't let them go over there. Hey, all right, let me ask you this question. I can almost, no, 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 stop no. for a minute. Because the black people over there in Ghana, I can almost guarantee that they got businesses going okay, on uh, over there. They got to go over there with cash in hand. So that's way different. Okay. They go over there and create businesses. You come over here and get our resources and drive Uber and talk shit like you're doing okay. now. All right. First of all, let me say this to you. Maybe you can read a little bit. The Ghanaians in the diaspora sent $4.9 billion a year to Ghana. Check. $4.9 billion. Check. Last year. So what money do you think that you sent? They did no, what? No, no, they did on. what? Hey, wait, wait, they did what? what? They did I'm what? talking. Pipe down. Let me talk. All right. No, 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 nigga. no, 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 no. Articulate yourself because I don't understand what you said. Who did what with a billion dollars? What now? I didn't understand you. All right. I'm going to say it one more time. Probably you can hear me. All right. What I'm telling you is that Ghanaians in the diaspora last year sent $4.9 billion back home in the form of remittances. Therefore, if you tell me that that sizable number of black Americans in Ghana, right, are moving the economy. What are you talking about? What difference does it make? What are you saying? Are, because it's a it's a very small group of black people from America. Okay, so you think it's so? So they're fleers, right? They, it's they not fled, a lot. They fled. And it's not, and it's not a lot, and they're getting finessed over there, left and right. All right, let's stop the bullshit. Black Americans are complaining over there about how they're getting finessed, left and right. They're going over there, and they're getting a damn wake up call. It's, you go to YouTube and there's dozens of videos of Black Americans talking about how y'all finessing them over there. That's why you fled. So, so why are they still there then? Why are they still there? So, I, <laughs> some of them are trying to work it out. Some of them trying to have some kind of sentimental value. Who knows? But it's not a lot of us over there, and the ones over there are complaining about getting finessed. But, but you're not. It, it doesn't make sense though. If somebody's not feeling comfortable, you just got to leave. Why are they still there trying to make it work? Who like? Who make, gives, make they're sense, not. Bro. They're not significant.
significant enough. They're not over there in significant I, numbers. I listen, listen, all right, all right, let's, let, uh, let me move on. They're not over there in significant. Look, you know good and well we ain't fleeing over there to no damn Ghana. You know good and well a significant number of us ain't going over to no Ghana. Bro, For what? Hey, we got, hey, we got first of all, 95% yeah. of y'all don't even have passports. You don't even have stop, a passport. Stop it. You can't stop, even go to the UK, it. bro. Stop, stop. Well, I'm, I'm banned from the UK. Not the... Not that I can't physically go if I wanted to, or I don't have the resources. They banned me from going over there. They know how thorough I am. I mean, that, that that's, because, that's because I have a global impact. Not, as not, not, not because America. you have an FBA attitude. You have an FBA attitude, which is which is influential. Uh, influential. You know, some influence can be terrible, yes. though. We have good influence no, and bad can't. influence. Like drugs, you can have bad influence. No, because I because me bad like drugs, many, no, no because me like many other foundational Black Americans, we're globally influential, sir. Foundational Black Americans, many of us are globally influential and respected. Can you name the globally influential people from your culture, sir? Well, I can I can name you thousands of them. Name the person from your community who's globally known and respected internationally. Name oh, I can tell that Santahini, for example. Okay, mention one. I said that Santahini, mention one. Mention one of you. Nobody yours. knows that. No, who, who? Who? The Asantehini, the chief of the Ashanti land. Mention yours. Nobody knows now, that person. No, because you're ignorant. But that's because not a problem. No, 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 no. See, that's, that's, problem that's not a problem. That's read. my point. That's not a point. That, that's my point. He's not internationally known or respected, sir. You just proved my point. That's a person who is not internationally well, listen, known or listen, respected. First of all, you just proved my point. You just named somebody that nobody knows. All right? Foundation of Black Americans, we have people who are internationally known and respected, sir. That's what's rubbing you the wrong way. I mentioned one of them. Mention one of them. Mention yeah. one of them? Malcolm X, Dr. Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Harry. Okay, Tuttle, all right, now hold on. Muhammad Ali, all right. Tariq Nasheed. Oh, Lord Come Jesus, on now. Please take yourself out of it. Don't be disrespectful. Yeah, me. Don't be disrespectful. Oh, yeah, Don't me. put your name in uh, Luther King and the rest of them. You, you yes, ain't one me. of them. All right. I, yes, I, I am. I, I, yes, I okay, am. let me ask you this. Sir, a, a whole country I, I, banned right, me, now, sir. Like, I'm listen, on that level. Listen, sir, I'm banned by a whole country banned me. I'm on that level, sir. I'm not even too my own horn. Osama bin Laden by... was banned from everywhere. So there's no problem you getting banned I'm... like Osama bin Laden. I'm not a terrorist, though. Uh, no, I'm banned because of my positive influence. I'm not a terrorist. Bin Laden is a terrorist. All right. Hey. I'm banned because of my positive okay, influence. Okay, let me ask you this. You ever heard of Kwame Nkrumah? You've heard of him, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah? Kwame, of course. And he was, and he got in, he got props because the Foundation of Black Americans kept him All right, alive. okay. Let me tell the difference, all right? Shout out to Malcolm X, shout out to uh, Martin Luther King and the rest of them. But guess what? Fighting for civil rights is not the same as fi fighting for sovereignty of a country. Two different things. All right? So two different classes here. And that is the reason why Kwame Nkrumah was voted as the black person of the millennium. Check. Check it. That was black people. Foundation of Black Americans propped him up. And many of the movements over I, in Africa of liberation listen, listen, and independence... I, I, Oh, no, no, no. Many of the independent movements in the 1960s, they were getting their fuel from our civil rights movement, sir. You better know your damn history. They were getting the game from us. We were, we were whooping ass with the civil rights movement, and that was putting a battery in their back. See, see, I, 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 all right, all right. Now, let me take you through a bit of history, bro. Okay. Uh -huh. Ghana gained independence in 1957. What, the civil rights movement, when did it gain momentum? The civil rights movement was the civil rights movement got popping in the 1950s, sir. Okay, guess what? If we get in independence in 1957, you know when that movement started? You know when that movement started? What are you be talking? Be quiet. So just be quiet. All right. When it comes to history, ain't nothing you can teach anybody. Second of all, I'm Martin Luther King. Hey, hold on, hold on. Martin Luther King traveled to Ghana when Ghana gained independence because he was invited. When he came back to the United States, go and read his statement, his speech. He said he was inspired by the movement going on in Africa. He was inspired by the hard work going on in the liberation of the, uh, the struggle of black folks. How, and, sir, of course, the, the civil rights movement was the modern- In the 60s- Hold on, no, hold, stop, stop running your damn mouth. 
the modern civil rights movement got kicked off really right at the death of Emmett Till, 1955. We had the civil rights movement popping in, in the United States, sir. And then the independence movement came because they saw what we were doing over here, sir. So you're not going to be able to rewrite history. And no, no, we, no, I'm not rewriting. No, no, no. no, no we no. were going over there to Africa in the 1930s helping them fight. We were going over there in the 1930s and 40s to help helping Ethiopia fight. fight. So what you I'm talking about? Fight. Ethiopia. When they were about to be listen, invaded listen, by listen, Italy, listen, sir. Listen, listen, listen. See, we I were don't doing that in the 1930s this. and 40s. You better stop. Hey, 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 no, you no, pipe down. Pipe down. No, pipe down so nothing. Fast. You better understand history. We were going over there helping them fight in the 1930s and 40s. So, yeah, you better know your history, Undugu. <laughs> Stop playing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, listen. I don't downplay any effort from any black person to another black person. I don't. But you got to show some respect along the line, all right? I got to show shit. Right. You better, you come over here running your mouth in a place that we made a lane for you to come. Hey, listen, listen. First of all, yeah, you see, better. See, yeah, you got a lot of bass in your voice see, for somebody. See, see, you got a lot of bass in your voice for somebody who fled to where we are, and we made a lane for you to flee, and you eating off our damn resources. Hey, hey, you can't blame me for your inability to travel anywhere. You can't blame me. We sir. can no, no. You're the one who can travel. No, no, you, you had to flee over here. Foundational Black Americans, we travel. And we come the hell back home. We don't go and flee and then eat no, all folks. What I know is black yeah, we don't, no, 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 no. We don't go eat off folks and then disrespect them. We go somewhere and then we bring our ass back home and we show respect. Well, you, the last time you I checked, flee. Though, you, the last time I checked, black Americans travel, but FBS don't travel. Foundational black oh, Americans sir. travel all the time, but we sir, bring our ass back sir, home. Sir, black Americans travel, FBS don't travel. FBA is a bunch of riffraff. You know it. Sir, the riffraff came from your country. That's why you had to flee because of the riffraffs and the scam. Guess what? Guess what? America needed me. That's why I'm here. What we need you and for? I, I, oh, yeah. America needed me. That's why I'm here. Well, a ride to the airport, I could have got that from anybody. Well, So what you talking about? Be because we can't do what I do. What you do? Can't do, what I do? What do you do? Bet, I bet you can't do what I do. I'm in corporate America. How can I you add value to the economy. No, you don't. You couldn't add nothing. You couldn't add value to your homeland. So well, how could you add value to me? Well, guess what? And tell you the United States. You couldn't add value I, to your homeland. That's why you fled, buddy. I have options, sir. You don't. No, you don't. You didn't have options I got in options your homeland. You no, I got options, which you don't. You That's didn't have problem. options. How come you didn't exercise okay. options in your homeland, sir? Sir? Listen, I am international. No, 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 no. Well, you're international everywhere except your homeland. How come you weren't international <laughs> in your homeland? I can leave anywhere. That's where. But that's except where your homeland. Place. Except Sir, your homeland. Listen, listen. It, except home. your homeland. You can do all of these phenomenal things except in your homeland. So what does that say about your homeland? You can do everything except do it in your homeland. Why? Why? How come? I do whatever I want. So no, what I'm telling no, you is, please. Like, listen, you, I have a homeland, but you don't. No, no, this is my homeland. No, oh, yo, you're the minority out here. No, this homeland? is still my homeland. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what you call homeland? This is 100% my homeland. Oh, okay. Uh, last time I checked, you're fighting for reparations, though. Uh-huh. And you're okay, fighting to flee. Mean, and though? you're fighting to flee. And you fled from your homeland. So what's Sir, listen, so that means we're better. <laughs> Listen, I'm not begging You're not anybody. even getting reparations. You're not getting listen, anything. You fled. You abandoned. You abandoned your home. You ain't getting nothing. You realize you ain't about to get a damn thing, so you had to leave, nigga. You, you realize you weren't going to get no reparations, no resources, no nothing. And you fled to us. So, yes, we're different, my brother. This is our homeland. We didn't flee. We stayed and we made a way for everybody to come over here and eat good. Bro, you ain't got no option done to stay. The hell you, you mean we got no option? option. We we don't right, want to flee. Listen, 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 listen. No, no, no. See, we no, 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 no. We we don't want to flee. We don't. Why the hell would we want to flee? We built something where we can be comfortable. Why would we want to flee from something that we built? Okay, so you labored. Don't get it twisted. See, I, I, you, what? You labored. There's different between building and labor. You labored. No, no. It. We built, sir. Okay. We all built. right. So if you build, so why don't you own it then? If I we own shit. 
We, listen, we own listen, more listen. than you. Hey, 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 listen. We listen, own listen. more than you. Listen, listen. I own property. No, you in don't. My oh, own I don't want to hear that. Listen. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, Lord, oh, the I America. own them. I don't want to hear right. that Prince of Zamunda shit. Don't start with that Prince of Zamunda. No, no, no. Well, I don't want to hear about all your mansions them. back home. You ain't got nothing. You over here. You play it over here. Hey, hey, hey. You can scream all you want. I got it because I got it. No, you, it ain't my fault that sir, I have it. You don't have anything. All right. You I fled from your homeland because you failed over there. You don't have anything over there. You don't have anything here, sir. Well, I got whatever that I got. What I'm you trying got, to let you You got what we help you get. You, I, came I, over I, I, listen, you listen, got listen. what foundational black Americans help you get, which was a lane to be successful over here. If it weren't for us, you'd be back home eating some bush meat, scratching your ass with some shea butter on your elbows. So let's stop playing games. All right. You don't have anything back home. You fled and you failed and you fled. We have more. Uh, okay. We, we see, own see, more as foundational black see, Americans. See, we see, own let, more over some. here. Than you we listen, own listen, more see, over here. See, listen, you fled, you failed, you blah, blah. You the same person. I heard you say, oh, the white supremacy is the reason why you can do shit. So the white supremacy is the reason why you fail. Why aren't you? Big, uh, let me ask. Why aren't you building back uh, the black Wall Street? What is stopping you from doing it? Do you know I own a museum, right? I don't give a middle finger what you own. I'm posing a question to you. I said, I'm why telling aren't you, you building? You're talking listen. about you're talking to somebody who who owns shit. I, listen, listen. We Your own shit. Is, we own hey, shit. That's successful. Shit. Your music we is are trash. building it. You know it's trash. It's a strip club. Forget about it. Ain't no reasonable person taking this child to that club. No reasonable person is going to take a child to that spot. For what? Which sensible human being, black person that well culture said, I'm taking my children to that museum. Why is our museum bigger than yours? The the Ghana Museum. You wish, bro. Why is my, our I, museum I, so I, okay I, if you're insulting your own museum? Our museum is bigger than the Ghana Museum. So what does that say about your shit? Our our museum is bigger, more popular, and more popping than the Ghana Museum. Man, what does that say about, about you? Man, it's, it's, what does that say about you? Our museum, our foundational Black American museum, is bigger, more popping than your national museum, sir. What does that say about you and your culture? <laughs> You're so funny. Google, hey, my, my, Google hey. their museum and Google ours. And see what's more popping. Man, listen, it's a what our museum is more popping than your national museum, sir. What does that say about you? Sir, you know what? My museum is the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. You know people that go there? You know the people that go there? I'm talking about Lenic educated, smart, progressive folks. All right? These are the folks that go to the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. Now, my question to you is that why what is stopping you from Building back the Black Wall Street. We're already doing it. Where? Here. The museum? Here. And the museum? Other, and other black people who build now, things here. What's the, where's the Ghanaian Tyler Perry? You understand? Where's the Ghanaian Oprah? Where's the Ghanaian ja, um, James Prince? Where's the Ghanaian Birdman? All right. Okay. So where Come on is, now. Uh, Come on air, now. All right. Let me ask you. No, 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 no. Answer question. that. No, 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 no. Answer that. No, no. Answer that. Answer that. Well, my, my answer answer that. What, name, Where is name the somebody from the, the, No, no, no. Hey, let me no, ask no, this. no. Name some people from your culture. And I'm not, and Ghanaians, I'm not trying to shit on you. But if your guy calls up talking that, that shit, we're going to have to put him on the spot. Name your version of Tariq Nasheed. Name the Ghanaian version of Tariq. No, no. We don't have no Tariq Nasheed. Come on now. No, no, we can't have, no, we can't have a Tariq Nasheed. You have, no, you have no importance to us. You're a nuisance to us. I'm telling you, culturally, you're a nuisance to us. Sir, we don't I need have more influence than any of you, sir. Sir, you are a terrible influence. No, I'm not. In the black community. That's why you're calling yes, up. You That's why I got you so butthurt. Listen, you are a bad no, drug. You're name a name your person who's more influential than me. Hell, I can, I can name all these other people. Hell, let's just look at me. And I'm not even bragging. Name some people from your culture more influential than me. Sir, listen, I impact 10 times better Nigga, than you. Nigga, please. Not, oh yeah, play a please. Do, play a please. Do, you're you clearly straight. driving. Oh, in terms sir, of influence, we know you're you're driving an Uber right now. You're in a car right now, working for Uber Eats right now, my nigga. You're not moving and shaking nothing, sir. Guess what, bro? I can tell you whatever that I do. I can tell you and bring your best that you can find. I'll be right here. 
When I tell you I'm a policy analyst, I can tell you right here. If I tell you I'm an engineer, I'll tell you right here. Bring your best it's right all here. Cap. Let's go for it. No, no, no. Let's go for it. It's all cap. You Bring can, your you best. Can I'm right here. Uh, yeah. All and of y'all, all, all of you guys are the principles listen, of Hey, listen, listen. I, I can tell you. All of I'm you guys are the principles. I will tell you. I listen, 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 listen. I don't brag, bro. I can tell. I tell what I do. I can take you through economics. I can school you hundred percent. In terms of okay, so you're just school. babbling. Okay, right now you're, right. you're boring. Hey, 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 okay, hey, my you're tether uh, this, babbling. This still not answer the question. Hey, hey, Sir, you're right now you're tether babbling. Hey, all right, you're steady. You're tethered, the question. And what by the talking? way, family, black family, I want y'all to look up the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. Our museum is bigger than that. Our museum is more popular than that. That's their national museum. And I'm not even shitting on them. But when a tether calls up trying to speak on our museum, nine times out of ten, our museum is bigger and more popping than theirs. And ours is 100% independent. And it's not even a national museum. It's 100% grassroots. So that's what does that say about foundational black American ingenuity? All right. Uh, we got this popping on our own without any national dollars, with it, without any state dollars, without any white dollars. And it's more popping than your national shit, sir. So that, how are you going to call up telling museum. us anything? That's a GoFundMe museum. You what? That's a GoFundMe museum you got. A what? That's a GoFundMe museum you got. Every what museum is a GoFundMe. Every this, museum this, gets well, donations. Uh, no, no. All every right. museum, okay, gets, me, every museum gets donations. What you talking about? Every museum is built off a damn donation. So what you're talking about? At least we as foundational black Americans built it on our own, on our own terms to represent our own leaders and our own icons, sir, that we didn't have to flee away from. Like you, you're not over, you're not even over there at the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. You over here on our shit. You see? Anyway, let me get some more people in. I don't want to hear more Ted the Babble. Yeah. You want to talk about who's building something? Hell, we start with me. We got a museum popping out here that's bigger than theirs. When a tether tries to, that, she, that is a club, nigga, where the museum club is more popping than y'all national museum. Whenever a tether try to talk crazy, go look at what their museums look like. Ours is more popping than theirs. I'd have been all around the world. And I've not seen museums all around the world. Our museum is more popular than most museums around the world. And it's 100% grassroots. That's how thorough we are. You know? Well, let's get some people in here. What's up, Nikki the God? Everybody say what's up to Nikki the God. Give me a heart. That's my girl right there. Y'all give my girl Nikki the God a heart. I see you down there, Nikki. Everybody throw a heart up for Nikki. Shout out to Nikki. Y'all need to follow my sister. She posts a lot of good stuff. Man, that tether babble. Y'all get that? This this is what I don't like when these tethers hop up talking about. Yeah, y'all FBA, y'all black men, y'all ain't got no, y'all ain't got no passport. Y'all can't leave. Y'all can't go nowhere. We don't want to flee. We can travel. We travel all the time. We don't want to flee. We ain't you. We don't want to flee all over the damn place. We ain't trying to run and duck and dodge and dip all over the place. We're rooted. We're grounded. We go places and bring our ass back home. We go on a cruise, go back home. We go to Jamaica, the Caribbean, go back home. We ain't trying to flee. It ain't like we can't go anywhere. We just don't want to flee all over the place. I'm not trying to denigrate nobody, but there's these little disrespectful tethers in this story. It's $4 billion sent to Ghana, nigga. <laughs> How come you ain't over there with the millions? It's, I, it's always some Prince of Zamunda shit. We got diamonds and gold, nigga. We got, we got unicorns, and nigga, okay. I, then why are you over here working for Grubhub, nigga? I don't want to hear all that Princess Amunda ass talk. Don't want to hear it. Oh, goodness. Let me get a couple of more calls in here. You know, raise your hand if y'all want to get on. How many people we got in here? 
got over a thousand people up here in the middle of the damn night. What are y'all doing up, by the way? Now I'm I'm suspicious of all of y'all in here. What are y'all? It's a thousand some people in here. What y'all niggas doing up this time of night? I just realized how late it was. What are y'all doing? Y'all must be doing something illegal. Am I on here with a bunch of goddamn criminals? Is y'all niggas trapping? There's <laughs> a lot of y'all up very late right now, especially on the East Coast. <laughs> y'all better not be spreading pussy for OnlyFans. <laughs> the hell y'all doing up this late? Oh, my goodness. Uh, and by the way, family, uh, speaking of GoFundMe, we got a GoFundMe that we um, have for the Rally for Reparations. Well, we're going to be stomping the yard out there in Washington, D.C. We need everybody to get involved. Um, I wish I had the link on me. I don't want to go digging around for the GoFundMe link. But if you guys Google GoFundMe and look up the Rally for Reparations, you can see it. Okay, let me get Muhammad. Let's get Brother Muhammad in the building. Brother Muhammad, what's up, man? Muhammad, hop on. Muhammad? Okay, I hate when people try to get on and they ain't ready. Let's get um, um, Cloud. Let's get this brother named Cloud something. Muhammad, are you ready? think Muhammad is trying. Muhammad, you want to unmute your mic? Try unmuting your microphone, brother. Then I can probably hear you. Uh, he, he bounced. All right. Cloud, what's up, Cloud? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm good, man. How are you? All right. I think as far as resources in America, you know, we got a lot of farmland. I live in Wisconsin, and, you know, we got, like, cows and, and milk and food and such as that. So we got plenty of resources in America as far as that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, this dude talking about... Uh, America was built off African resources. No, it wasn't. It was built off our labor. And, get that. and one more so, thing. Um, ahead, you ever man. thought about getting uh, Chuck D or Professor Griff to come to the... Uh, to the you know what? Um, we were... Um, we, we had a staff meeting. We were talking about, you know, public enemy possibly having them come. I don't know. I, we do have um, some names that we're throwing around. That's why we, we got to get a budget because... We um we got some names that we're throwing around that we're trying to get to come on through to do um, some performances just to really make it pop off. So, but we, you know, we really got to get this budget together so we can make this thing do what it do. Two years ago, we came here to Washington D.C. shoulder to shoulder, with our voices raised in unison, demanding recognition, justice, and reparations. That moment was etched into the records of our struggle. And now, brothers and sisters, we are going to return here to Washington, D.C., not merely just to reminisce, but to reignite our spirit of determination, to amplify our voices, and to reaffirm our commitment to the cause. Join me, Tariq Nasheed, here in Washington, D.C., at the Rally for Reparations Juneteenth Celebration at Freedom Plaza. We're going to have a vast array of phenomenal speakers, guests, leaders, and activists who's going to reignite that spirit of Majora that's within us and our lineage. You don't want to miss this event. Go to rallyforreparations.com. That's rallyforreparations.com. Come on down here to Washington, D.C. Be a part of history. Join me. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for justice. Stand up for your ancestors. Rallyforreparations.com. See you here.